New developments tonight in a Target 12 investigation tracking COVID cash. Today, a panel of experts convened by the Rhode Island Foundation released their recommendations for how the state should spend over a billion dollars of federal pandemic relief funds. Target 12 investigator Ted Nisi was briefed on the report and joins us now with the details. Ted. State leaders have until the end of 2024 to allocate this money, but some are urging them to start using it more quickly. When President Biden signed the American Rescue Plan Act into law in March, he authorized nearly $3 billion in new funding for Rhode Island, its municipalities, and its school districts. That includes $1.1 billion going to the state government with few strings attached. You know, I laugh when everybody says it's free money. It's not free money. It's we're all paying for it, and it is the people's money. Rhode Island Foundation CEO Neil Steinberg convened a 15-member committee to come up with ideas for using that $1.1 billion, and General Assembly leaders have been awaiting those proposals. Their report, released Tuesday, calls for big investments in five areas, $405 million for affordable housing, $255 million for behavioral health care, $205 million for workforce development, $100 million for small business relief, and $50 million to establish neighborhood trusts. Another $50 million would go toward immediate needs. Many times we've tackled big issues, we've come up with a lot of ideas, and we get stuck at the end because there's no money. This time we started the other way around. The money we know is here. It's how we use it. The foundation's report comes soon after Governor Dan McKee released his own plan for spending a bit more than $100 million of the federal money. He wants the General Assembly to take action soon. As I travel the state and talk with small business owners and families, many folks are still struggling. Many businesses are just keeping their heads above water. And uh, they tell me that they need help now. Lawmakers will hold their first hearings on the governor's proposal for the federal money this week. You can find a full breakdown of the Round Foundation recommendations and a link to their full report on WPRI.com. With the Target 12 investigators, Ted Nisi, 12 News.